Are they being passive aggressive at home or at work? What is being passive aggressive? Uh, it's an, an attempt to control or manipulate someone without being honest about how you feel or what you want. It is the foundation of it to me is built upon unknown expectations. Like people don't even know what you want, right? And they get mad at you um, for not knowing what they want and passive aggression is birthed. Um, what are some examples? Having hidden expectations, not telling someone what you want, but being angry or hurt um, that they don't know. Again, um, another example is saying one thing and meaning another. This is horrible uh, and can make for a horrible life and work experience. Um, also giving someone the silent treatment. Um, instead of working up the courage or having the courage to learn how to have a good um, experience talking with someone. Because a lot of times people don't have the courage. Um, a lot of times people don't have the courage to have confrontational talks. And there's a negative connotation around confrontation. Confrontation does not always have to be negative. It's just you stepping up courageously, saying what needs to be said without sugarcoating it so that you are free and so that um, the people who you are in relationship with, whether that be professional or personal, know where you're coming from. People cannot make good decisions without having all the information that they need. So if you or someone else is not giving a person the information they need, they're not going to be able to make a good decision. And this can look like ignoring someone, refusing to answer their calls, not responding to their texts, excluding them from events, saying hello to everyone in the room but them, um, avoiding eye contact with them, um, or pretending not to hear them. Another one is expressing um, your feelings non-verbally, smirking, rolling your eyes <sighs> um, while speaking to someone or express expressing displeasure by pouting, sighing loudly, or huffing, um, embarrassing someone. This is a really disrespectful. This is, I, I don't like this at all, the embarrassing someone. Um, because my thing is, is, if you have the courage to embarrass someone, then have the courage enough to pull them to the side and, and talk with them about whatever is bothering you. Um, asking someone uncomfortable questions in front of others to put them on the spot. Um, I see this at work. Um, revealing embarrassing things about them and then kind of laughing it off. <laughs> um, gossiping about them while others are around. Telling others about issues you have with them instead of discussing it with them directly. Um, working against someone. This is another thing that um, I've seen in the workplace before. Pretending to support someone, but then you secretly hope things don't don't go their way. You don't want to see them win. You, you just, you don't want to see them win when you're acting passive aggressive. Um, sabotaging their work. Um, even procrastinating, taking their, you know, if someone is being passive aggressive, then they could take their own sweet time um, getting to you what you need. Um, pretending that they forgot about it or that it wasn't, it, it wasn't that important, was it? Was it that important to you? Um, another, another one could be giving someone gifts with an ulterior motive. So you really not giving them a gift or doing something nice for them. Out of the kindness of your heart, you're doing it so you can look good um, in, front of, in front of other people. Um, let me see. Um, giving backhand compliments. This one, I, this one, I don't like this one either. I hate this one too. Um, it's really a thinly veiled insult is what it is. And this is another one where you see people ha 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 kicking and laughing it off when they really mean to be hurtful. Um, saying something like, oh, um, your hair looks good that way. Um, it makes your ears look smaller or your nose look smaller or whatever they're going to say, but it really is a veiled insult. 
Here's how you can be more direct. Just ask for what you want, right? Get rid of all the fluff, all the sugar, and ask for what you want. My dad would say to me, just ask. The only thing that I can do or anyone else can do is say no. You know, some people will go the extra mile and make you feel bad about asking, but he would say, all they could do is say no, you know? And in today's day and age, people really do need to get used to the word no. Um, Accepting that things may not always go your way. Telling someone why you're upset with them. Again, that courage, you know, do what you need to do to build up the courage to tell people what you really want and what you really need. Otherwise, they're not going to know. It's not fair to them for you to have this thinly veiled aggression and laughing it off. It's toxic. It's toxic, boo. It's toxic. Um, Letting go of things beyond your control um, will help you be more direct. You know, stop trying to be in control of things you can't control. Um, another one is learning to empathize with other people. I was just thinking about this during this holiday season. One thing that you can do to empathize with other people is believe them. When they tell you that I'm sick or I have a headache or I don't have the capacity for this or I'm not going to be able to get to this until the new year, empathize with them. Put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel if you were sharing that you didn't have the bandwidth to do something and, you know, they're (laughs) throwing off like they don't believe you? Like you need to get it together when you are really being honest with them. So empathize with other people. Be open minded. And here's a big one. Um, that I see needing to happen in the workplace is respecting other people's opinions. Uh, I was just reading today in my devotional in the Bible, and John was asking Jesus, he's like, oh, they're casting out devils, but they're not with us. Um, Do you want us to what did he say? I can't remember. I think he said, do you want us to call down fire from heaven or something like that? I was cracking up. I'm like, ooh, way to be inclusive. If they're not on our team, Jesus, we don't want them. (laughs) No, no, no. Let me get that right. Jesus said, no, if they're not against you, then they're for you. Another disciple had asked a question and um, wanted to know if they should call down fire from heaven. I learned a lot from the disciples. They did not have it all together, but they were willing, which is why Jesus used them. So, <laughs> it was so funny. He's like, I'm not being inclusive. Don't try to join our team. Um, Yeah, cast out them devils somewhere else in somebody else's name. <laughs> so, respecting other people's opinions um, can help you to be more direct. So, this can come from many different places, cultural factors, um, childhood experiences, fear of rejection, having unrealistic expectations. And I am just talking about the everyday um, situations where you may see, see these symptoms. I am not a therapist and I am not talking about passive aggressive personality disorder like that needs to be treated by a professional. So what are you going to do to stop being this way or address it when you deal with someone else? You're going to look for um, in yourself. You're going to build self-awareness. You're going to ask for what you want. You're going to work on your communication skills. You're going to express your anger or frustration in healthy ways. And again, you're going to empathize with others. And if the shoe is on the other foot, then you're going to look for people Uh, to be in relationship with that are self-aware, that know how to ask for what they want, um, that know how to communicate and know how to express their emotions, their anger, their frustration in healthy ways. You want to be in relationship with people, whether personal or professional, that know how to communicate, know how to empathize, know how to express their emotions, know how to let go of things beyond their control, um, and know how to have a healthy support system. This is so important in your personal and professional life. Have a have a healthy support system. Have people that can hold you accountable. Um, and hold your own self accountable. I have an internal um, spirit for me as a born-again believer, which is the Holy Spirit. He taps me on my shoulder and says, hey, that was a little strong. You need to pull that back. You're not being led by me. So whatever your system is, use that system. But you need to have a healthy support system in in faith and in people. So I wanted to share that this morning. I hope it helps during the holidays and any other time.